quick show of hands. How many of you, when buying a new car, spend most of your time and money designing and building a new garage? Hmm, no one. Okay, let's say you're buying a new summer wardrobe. How many of you would expend all your resources rebuilding your closet? Now, I'm not saying you might not want to, but from a practical standpoint, no one buys a new wardrobe by building a new closet. When writing a business plan, how many sink the overwhelming majority of their dollars into the design of the cover and leave only a tiny fraction, if anything, for development of the plan itself? If anyone ever suggested you do any of these things, you'd be well within the boundaries of etiquette to ask them if they'd taken leave of their senses. Really, who does that? You do. Small and medium-sized businesses do it constantly, and I blame website design companies. See, their primary motivator is to design an eye-catching website and then get paid for it. Their job ends before the real work of web marketing has even begun. Almost nobody decides to purchase goods or services based solely on how appealing your website looks. On the other hand, a hideous-looking website with unfathomable navigation will surely lose you customers. So a balance must be struck. In the early days of website development, things were very different. Website coders were spoken about in whispers and treated like gurus. But all that has changed. With today's access to website development tools and content management systems, it's pretty easy to develop a good-looking and usable website. A designer who understands your vision and the limitations of your CMS can quite easily give you a beautiful website you'll be proud of. You may need a coder or two to handle some of the more complex issues, but you'll only be paying them for those specific jobs. Of course, you could hire a design firm to do exactly the same thing. It'll just cost you a lot more. This is the problem of design-forward web presence. All your budget goes into a look with nothing left over for the stuff that does all the work your content. It's impossible for your website design to attract, engage, and hold your customers. That's what your content does. Your content educates, informs, and entertains. The site itself is simply the container where your content resides. Nobody buys a gallon of ice cream to throw away the ice cream and eat the bucket, you see? No one will come to your website to consume your design. They are there to consume your content. It's time for the design emperor to go put on some pants while the rest of us start the real work of web marketing, content development, strategy, text, graphics, video, audio, blogs, social media syndication, and all the rest. It's this work that will make you money. Consider if you've ever bought something from a company due to their website's unique navigation, layout, or color palette. Yeah, well, neither is anyone else. If you want results from web marketing, you need to sink your resources into the stuff your customers are looking for, and they're looking for content to engage with. Anyone who says different is selling something unlikely to affect your bottom line. Content equals engagement from both you and your customers. If you'd like to explore a content-forward strategy, we'd love to talk with you. Simply drop a line to the email address on the screen or give us a call. You can always leave comments on the blog, on YouTube, or via social media. And we'd love your likes on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Now, get out and do something.